Good morning, everybody. I'm Teresa Perrin, and this is my stock market watch list for Tuesday, December 27th, 2022. Futures are green this morning, and oil is also green. Please keep in mind that it is a short holiday week. Obviously, the market was closed yesterday, so be prepared because the volume will be lower than normal usually significantly lower and it's also the last few days for tax loss harvesting so keep that in mind as well and those of you that are tesla fans please be careful about catching a falling knife um, i thought we would get a bounce based on the chart on friday that did not happen at least not to the extent that i thought it would i did think that it was going to get to about um 130 before it came back down and it only got to about 128 on friday um that being said guys please be very cautious about buying it too soon because I think that it's gonna get under $100 the way I look at it right now. Um, I could be wrong, I hope I'm wrong, but the chart is very ugly, so keep that in mind. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, I'm starting with Tesla just because I had just told you my reasons for keeping it on my watch list. I actually think it could potentially be a good short position. Um, unless something comes out like, Gigafactory Mexico getting announced. I wouldn't expect a bounce in this currently, um, but it is looking very ugly. It's down 5.56% already in pre-market. So could it be a potential short to let's say 100? When does it get there? I don't quite know guys. Um, it could even go less than that the way I'm looking at it right now. There's been some very ugly predictions, but anyways, keep it on your radar because you never know. News could break and it could get a bounce. And if it does, it could be a significant one. So rig, R-I-G, Transocean. All right, I love the technical setup on this one. This is the one year chart, guys. I would be looking for that $5 break and more importantly, a break of about 525. And I think you're gonna see this thing take off. It has made a really huge consolidation over the past year. It actually dipped, double bottomed. And as you can see, we're on our way back up. So now off that double bottom, I wanna see a break of um, one year highs. Blue Apron, APRN. All right, guys, this is currently down a couple cents in pre-market, but um, it has made significant moves since I called it out a couple days ago. Um, well, a couple trading sessions ago, I should say. And I think we're gonna see a continued move to the upside. I think it was um, shot down at the end of the day because of options, quite frankly. Um, and I think that you're gonna see a recovery in apron back above $1 today. So keep it on your radar. ATNF. All right, guys, I actually was watching this very early this morning when it was like a dollar, I want to say a dollar 65 or dollar 45, somewhere between there. I can't remember exactly. Um, and it's just taken off. Basically, the deal with ATNF is it announced a $5 million offering. I'm not sure if this was also a recent reverse split. It may have been. Um, but I do know that it ad announced on Thursday or Friday last week a closing of a $5 million offering um, that started to bring momentum back into this play and now you can see it is um, really moving off of those bottoms so keep an eye on it rent r-e-n-t rent the runway all right guys this is something that's been on my radar um i tried to draw out the trend line to show you that um if you look at the middle tip the higher one of those two it actually broke slightly above the trend line before it pulled back bounced off the trend line and now we're looking at a similar situation where it almost looks like a cup and handle position I'm looking to see if it breaks back up above that handle. I want to see that $3 break and then a potentially a run back um, to $5.50. If it breaks above that, guys, it could be a runner. So keep your eye on Rent the Runway. They recently had very good earnings. C-A-B-A. -A. All right. There was absolutely no reason for this massive pullback that it had other than I think it was algorithmic on Friday. No news or anything like that. So I think today you're going to see that recovery. And ultimately what I'm watching in Kaba guys is for this to move back up and get that 950 break and ultimately get back into the double, oh, get to the double digits this week. I don't think it quite got there on Friday. 
um, or last week, sorry, it would have been Thursday because Friday had that massive sell um, for no reason. So look for Kaba to start making that move. It's still in the process of filling that gap, guys. I think it's to $11.60. So that's what I'm watching on Kaba. Oops, sorry, I already did apron, but I looked at it earlier. All right, let me adjust this one second. Sometimes when I do these early in the morning, it makes them a different size for some strange reason. But anyways, AVCT. Now guys, I'm not expecting huge moves in this this week. However, please note that they do need to, well, whoever is holding those warrants needs to get them moving um, in this stock towards that $1.80 if they want to be able to run this stock prior to dilution. Now, I don't think that they are going to stop at $1.80. That would be kind of worth their, like worthless. They could have just bought down hair and ran it if they were gonna do that to exercise those, um, those warrants that they hold. And guys, I would be expecting though, come January, if there's no buyout announced, that this is gonna take a massive dump because I do expect an offering on that or on or about January 16th, but I do expect a run prior to that. So it is on my radar. HLBZ. All right, guys. Help is has pulled way back and I expect that momentum eventually is going to come back into the stop. Right now it's kind of at that capitulation um, stage. So it just needs to build back some momentum. Um, every time it gets positive PR, it moves up a few cents, but they immediately pull it right back down. At some point, this is going to break out and rip. Now, there is a chance, guys, that it will need to get a reverse split. I am watching it for that. However, I'm not sure that would necessarily be a bad thing for Hellbiz because the float is very low and I think it would really trap shorts. Um, so I'm watching it for either way. I am, I do have a heavy position in Hellbiz. Well, I have a position for me because I often, um, do not put any more than 10% in one stock and mostly not more than 5% to be honest lately. So the fact that I have gone towards that 10% of my entire portfolio into Hellbiz says a great deal guys about my confidence in this play. And I really don't care if it gets the reverse split because I actually think it could be positive for it as it was in GoCo. IQ, IQ, IQE or however you say that. But anyways, guys, this is something that I called out a while back, well before it hit $4 because um, of institutional buying. And you've seen that it has just gone on an absolute rip since. There has been um, news about China and their reopening as of January 8th. I don't think that you need to um, show immunization or something like that, something to do with travel. Um, sorry, I read it quickly last night and I wasn't fully paying attention to it. I had a lot going on, um, but I know that um, it was really good news for Chinese stocks. So I would keep an eye on all of them today for potential runs, but I'm gonna give you a few of my favorites um, in my watch list. IQ being the first, TME, which is 10 cent. Guys, I am watching for this to make a break up to $9 this week. I thought it was going to get there last week, but it didn't. Um, last week was a little bit funny, especially towards the end of the week. I think just because volume was low, we didn't see a lot of action. Same with Tal. Tal started to um, make a play towards that $19 and change gap fill, but it got a harsh pullback. As you can see on Friday, it was down 12%. Well, guys, with this news, I'd be watching for Tal to quickly, to quickly regain that and potentially fill that gap. I'm not sure if we get the volume in it this week or if it'll be next week, but I am watching for that gap fill um, coming in Tal up to $19 and change. It's either 1956. I think it's 1956. And I think it starts at 963. So we got to get back above that 963 guys first. Ape. Ape is absolutely on a run lately ever since they announced a potential reverse split and to be transferred back into AMC. So keep an eye on it because I think they're going to run this up right now. The institutions that have been holding this because as everybody was selling, I believe that they were loading up. 
Mullen, M-U-L-N, has earnings this morning. Keep an eye on it, guys. Does it get a nice run off of their earnings? I mean, they obviously have been doing a lot of spending, but they also have orders coming in. Whether or not we see that in this month's earnings or this quarter's earnings, I don't know. Um, however, I definitely think what is being said in earnings will play a great deal into what happens with the stock today. BRSH also is expecting earnings today in pre-market. As um, you can see, it made a very nice cup. Does it come back down, get that handle and shoot back up? I don't know, um, but I am watching or does it shoot straight up on earnings because it's been beat down hard and I think it can potentially get to above $1 if earnings are good. And HTGM, um, I did a video on this, so I'm not going to get too much into detail, but guys, they dipped this very hard and it ran in the after hours on the announcement of a closing of an offering, um, which definitely um, was at $7.75. So I think that's your sweet spot to get above that. And then they have um, warrants that they can issue at $7.50 or that they can exercise at $7.50 and at $7.75. So I would certainly be expecting to see it move in that direction. And the flow is still very, very low in the stock. And I do believe that it was very heavily shorted um, prior to its reverse split. And I do expect to see a big move coming in HTGM. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for you. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, no, sorry. I always forget this. Um, here's your top gainers this morning, at least when I took this, which was shortly after 7 a.m. Um, Neptune, NEPT, HTGM, ATNF, ACRX, and Kemi, C-E-M-I. Careful with C-E-M-I, I'm not sure, but I'd be expecting that they are, may have a reverse split coming, um, judging by the share price, and I think it's been beat down for quite a while. Um, I know there's someone that's been spamming my Facebook with that stock for months now, and it's done nothing but fallen since he's been spamming it. And it's kind of like, why do you keep talking about this? But anyways, top losers, T-U-E-M, Tuesday morning, S-R-Z-N-E-L-Y-S, X-Pawn, and Cal, K-A-L. And the most active, M-P-W, Wish, S-W-N, Abev, S-I-R-I. -I. All right, guys, two that are standing out on this most active that I want to point out to you are Wish and ABEV. And the fact that this keeps happening in pre-market, but we don't see moves in them, makes me wonder if Toots are starting to build a position in these two names because I see them quite a bit. The Seri, I think I've seen a couple times as well but most certainly Wish and ABEV. So you may want to just put a mental note to keep those on watch. As you can see, Wish has been down still, but you may suddenly find that it just starts breaking out out of nowhere. ABEV, guys, this has been going on for quite some time. It was between, it was first SBEV and then ABEV. Um, so, you know, there's no promises that's what's going on, but it seems kind of odd, the volume day after day with very little movement in these names. So I would certainly be questioning why that is. Um, top technical analysis would be EC, SCHW, CCJ, GTE, and SU, Suncor Energy. Um, so... Keep an eye on those tickers as well today. Guys, when I give you these names, you could potentially build off to the side of whatever you're watching a watch list that just has these on it because you never know, you know, these could just start breaking out out of nowhere. Even if it's not today, I mean, this week's going to be very low volume compared to normal for most tickers. Um, but you may see that some of these names just out of nowhere rip. So it's worth putting on a watch list and just keeping your eye on them. That's basically why I'm giving them to you. So I hope you find it helpful. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday and enjoyed the three-day weekend with your family.